I'm gonna give you my impressions about the upcoming LG G3 announcement and what that means for gaming. The potential is off the chart, man. But I cannot be excited because we don't know enough yet. So I'm going to tell you what I want, the features that I want from this TV for gaming and how amazing would that be. So basically, what can we get with a brighter OLED? We can get better motion clarity for gaming. So when you move the camera on your games, it looks smoother. It looks better. It looks more clear. So it doesn't blur. The image doesn't blur. So on this LG CX GX C1 G1, we have black frame insertion, OLED Motion Pro, and we have that at 60, 100, and 120 hertz. Unfortunately, LG removed the 100 and 120 hertz black frame insertion from the C2 and G2. Why? To save money, to make more money. Why? Because most people don't know about the feature. They don't use it because when you use that feature, you lose brightness. So you have to basically become an HDR master <laughs> to get a good picture using black frame insertion. So most people just turn that on and, oh, it looks darker, boom, just turn it off again because they don't understand how amazing that feature is. So the potential with this LG G3, specifically 55 inch, 65 inch, and 77 inches is off the chart. So they are going to be about 1800 nits of peak brightness. So what does that mean for black frame insertion? Just to put it simple, because I'm not going to explain you here the blur busters law. I'm not going to explain you here the tailbot plateaus law. I have videos about that. I'm going to post a link in the description of the video if you want to understand exactly what I'm talking about and why. But just to put it simple, 1800 nits. With 1800 nits, we can get double the motion clarity and reduce that brightness. So by reducing that brightness in half, so we cut the brightness in half, but we get double the motion clarity. So we can basically get a G2 peak brightness looking like 240 hertz. So imagine you have your game running at 120 FPS, but it looks like 240 and it feels very responsive because the OLED <laughs> responsiveness is fantastic. So at 120, you already have amazing input lag. So if that looks like 240 and on top of that, the peak brightness is 900 nits. That's like having a G2 that is 240 hertz. Would you buy that? <laughs> if you get a G2 right now, that's 240 hertz. Would you like to buy that? Absolutely. <laughs> that would be fantastic. That's the potential that this TV has. And even more because we can get four times the motion clarity with such brightness. We can easily get, I don't want to get into details because I, then I would need to explain you know, the Blur Busters law, but basically, we can get four times the motion clarity and reduce the brightness in four times, basically. And 1800 nits is enough brightness to do that. So that TV at 120 hertz can basically look like 480 FPS. Just try to wrap your head around that. You have a display. You play your games at 120 frames, which is achievable with today's GPUs. It is achievable. I get 120 FPS in many games. So you get 120 FPS, your game looks like it is running at 480 FPS. So you move the camera, everything is perfectly clear. That's the potential this TV has. So what LG needs to do is to focus on that focus and motion clarity for gaming and advertise that. If you go to a store to buy a display for your gaming PC and you see on the box 4x the motion clarity, 
done. <laughs> Where do I pay? Like that they can advertise that feature for gaming and if they focus in black frame insertion they can basically give you the best picture quality possible so for example on this lg c1 you need to be an hdr master basically to get a good black frame insertion result you need to master hdr and get this hdr settings right so you get a picture quality that is uh, good so most people don't use black frame insertion because they turn it on oh it's dark and they don't see the difference because they don't know what to look for so they turn it off that's why LG downgraded the black frame insertion on the C2 and G2 because most people don't use it so LG just saving money because it costs less <laughs> to do that and that's why they are downgrading it but if they focus on that they can basically give you an adjustment. So basically, you are on HDR, you turn on black frame insertion, and they need to adjust the EOTF tracking for black frame insertion, and it is totally possible. I am sure they can give you an amazing HDR experience with this TV and a boost in motion clarity. And they can advertise that heavily for gamers. And if they are able to explain how good that is, gamers will buy into it. it the problem is that it is difficult to explain. It is difficult to explain. You cannot explain the Blur Busters law on a marketing material or the Tailbutts Plateaus law to explain why the brightness is reduced and why is that... Um, why is that okay? Why is that good? So, I mean, it's not good to lose brightness, but it is good to trade off motion clarity for brightness because 120 hertz sample on hold is not enough for gaming. It's not enough. So, I cannot be excited because we don't know enough yet. And I'm telling you, if this LG G2 comes without black frame insertion I'm not interested I don't care <laughs> it can be yes brighter display is better it looks better the HDR is going to be fantastic okay but I play games okay and to play games 120 FPS 120 Hertz sample and whole is not enough it's not enough the picture blurs it blurs big time so I'm not excited about it if it doesn't have black from insertion, I am just not interested. So I would consider this a downgrade from my C1. A downgrade because the HDR is going to be better, but it's going to be blurrier. So if it doesn't have black from insertion, I'm telling you, I am more interested about the LG CX <laughs> GX than this one. But let's see. Let's see. We don't know yet. Maybe. LG has a partnership plan with Asus or any other monitor manufacturer to do a gaming monitor because TVs, maybe for TVs they don't need that, that's the problem. Um, they can use it, so to use in combination with motion interpolation, they can use uh, black frame insertion. But as a gaming monitor, maybe they have a partnership with, you know, Gigabyte, Asus, or maybe they are planning themselves to improve their monitor lineup and then add all those features. I'm okay with that too. But I do like to have a TV because the TVs usually they have a lot more um, features. Of course, it's a TV and a lot more options for calibration and all that stuff. So I prefer to have uh, a TV than to have a monitor because you just get more and also the price <laughs> that's another thing the TV prices are insane you can get a you know a G2 for I mean a C2 for $800 <laughs> that's a steal okay so at that point it doesn't matter it doesn't have black from insertion or whatever $800 for that is just insane there's no competition for that so the TVs are also cheaper and you can get them on Black Friday for a better deal. So that's 
That's the problem with monitors. Monitors keep the value higher than TVs. I think also because TVs have some, uh, you know, some Disney, Netflix, and all this stuff. This uh, marketing stuff, I believe it makes the TVs cheaper. Um, so they can basically you know, afford to make less money in selling the TV because they are making money with this kind of stuff, basically. So yeah, we also know that the full screen brightness is going to be up to 235 nits. And that is very important because right now the C1, for example, is like a 150 nits. Full screen, full screen brightness. So 235 or over 200 nits is going to give you a better HDR effect because, for example, when you have a game that is too bright, the, the screen is like a sunny day, it is too bright, so you look at the sun, it's not going to pop. You look at the clouds, it's not going to pop as much because the TV cannot push more brightness. So having a higher full screen brightness is going to give you a better HDR effect uh, because the TV has energy to push to push more brightness on those highlights and before I end the video just a small detail uh, and this I got this information from uh, Classy Tech Calibrations he is an expert and he was ex explaining that when you have real content the TV actually pushes a little bit more brightness it is able to push a little bit more brightness in a specific highlights maybe they are smaller highlights than if you just measure a 10 percent window of uh, brightness so basically real content the tv when the tv detects real content is going to push a little bit more brightness so that 1800 nits can be 2000 nits basically of peak brightness so if you're playing a game with this tv for example with the g3 you are going to use HGIG and you adjust the in-game sliders to be 2000 nits. That's the setting, 2000 nits. Because the TV actually can actually push 2000 nits. So that's what I would expect. Uh, but it depends. Maybe LG decides to to hard clip. To you know, HGIG, maybe they decide to hard clip that at 1800. But it should be at 2000. It should be at 2,000 nits. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to have a link in the description of this video to the Blur Busters Law. If you want to understand motion clarity, you have to understand the Blur Busters Law. And if you want to understand the trade-off between brightness and motion clarity, exactly how much brightness do you need to improve the motion clarity how much brightness do you lose you have to understand the tailbot plateaus law and i'm gonna have a link in the description of the video for those two videos where i explain those two things so you can understand what i was talking about here exactly why i say and why i have that uh, opinion so also before i end the video the G3 is the, is the only one that's in this sizes, 55, 65, 77 is the only one that's going to have that such a boost in brightness. The, the C3 is not going to have that. Uh, it's not going to be that bright. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit brighter, but it's not going to be that much uh, more bright. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.